everyone, thank you for joining Pro Surf Blog for this epic surf news update for February 2014. Sharing some photos and videos that we captured down in La Jolla, California. Black's Beach is just to the north of La Jolla. La Jolla also has a lot of beach breaks that are also really fun. And while we were there, we took advantage of the Birch Aquarium and we also have been spitting out content related to uh, things we saw at Birch Aquarium and relating them to surfing. So cruise over to our Facebook page and check that out. Then on February 10th, uh, Billabong announced that they're welcoming Jack Robinson to their team. Jack Robinson is 16 years old and he's been surfing Pipeline since he was 12. So look out for Jack Robinson in the future. Uh, he's been winning contests and uh, doing some exciting maneuvers. Also on February 10th, Surfers Healing released their dates for the 2014 Surfers Healing events. Uh, Surfers Healing helps kids with autism and other disabilities learn how to surf. So go ahead and check out their website. You might be able to get more information there and get registered if uh, something you want to take advantage of. And so there's been a few changes with the calendar and the events for the ASP World Tour in 2014. And one of these changes was announced on February 12th. So ASP announced the women's WCT event is going to take place at Honolulu Bay, Maui for 2014. And this event's going to run from November 24th all the way through December 6th. So it's at the end of the year, but look out for that. It's definitely going to have uh, some action. And this shot here is provided by ASP Schultz. Oh, this shot here, courtesy of the Big Wave World Tour, it comes with the announcement of the schedule for the 2014 season. The Big Wave World Tour was originally founded by Gary Linden in 2009, and it's going to be actually uh, governed and managed by ASP going forward, so it's kind of come into a, a suite of different divisions and, and competition series for the ASP. And so this year it looks like they're going to have six events in the Big Wave World Tour, and the way they're going to break it down uh, is going to be three in the Northern Hemisphere and three contests in the Southern Hemisphere. And so for the Southern Hemisphere, the contest will be held in Chile, Peru, and South Africa. And then for the Northern Hemisphere, it's gonna be Mexico, uh, the Basque country of Spain, as well as uh, Maui, Hawaii. And so February is also a real busy month, uh, typically for ASP. They're usually getting the season started, making announcements on a variety of different topics within surfing. And with that said, ASP announced on February 20th that Samsung is actually going to become the 2014 title sponsor for the World Championship Tour. Uh, this picture here of Kelly Slater just killing it. This is by ASP Schultz. And so, you know, Samsung obviously is going to bring some value to the whole deal uh, with their communications and in terms of the coverage of the event, uh, whether it be webcasts and TV. And so this is definitely going to enhance what's going on. Uh, it's still a little unclear in terms of uh, what developments are going to take place in, in terms of the media and how the events are going to be structured uh, and so forth. Uh, in addition to this, uh, another announcement was made that uh, media images and images that you would get from events that would be you know, either for media use or other uh, commercial use is going to be managed by Getty Images, which is something that the ASP has done in the past um, and they've pulled back at one point but now it looks like they're going to go ahead and go forward with Getty Images again and Getty Images is known for uh, managing images that have to do with uh, just about anything. It definitely brings a level of opportunity and uh, you know a few days later after this uh, another announcement was made by ASP which is also significant and that is that GoPro, a video camera manufacturer, is going to also sponsor ASP events. So these are some significant players, and it looks like GoPro and Samsung will actually have a good fit uh, with surfing and, of course, Getty Images in there to uh, you know, help maximize uh, all the things going on. And so the schedule changes uh, keep on coming in February, and you got Flipper Dipper here checking out this shot by ASP Schultz of Jeffries Bay. So turns out J-Bay is going to be added to the World Championship Tour for 2014. There's conflicting information out on the web in terms of which contest this is going to replace, as it sounds like there's still going to be only 11 events. And the best I can tell at this point is that it's either going to be Bali or Super Tubos in Portugal. And to wrap up our epic surf news for February, we're going to update you on one of the awards that was given out at the 2014 awards ceremony, which was based on the 2013 season. And it was John John Florence who actually got move of the year and Tyler Wright for the women who got move of the year as well. So congratulations to them.
and Julian Wilson sharing a picture of his quiver with us and uh, check out his selection, uh, some of the hard decisions he has to make every morning. And so I want to say thanks again for joining us for this Epic Surf News update and be sure to subscribe and also check out our Facebook page to get uh, all kinds of other surfing updates. Charge! Mm -hmm.